Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome back to watching Austin Alley as an adult. Got my favorite customer. Stop. Assault. This is sexual assault. Not, not sexual assault, but it's still harassment. Ew. Maybe she will stand over there. Or in Alaska? <laughs> You're so cute when you joke around. <laughs> you were joking, right? Yeah, totally. Does you need like a restraining order? I'm Allie. I don't know what my deal is. <laughs> well, it's Allie. <laughs> she's getting flustered because there's a girl there. Also, she's definitely gay, right? <laughs> she just gives off a vibe that she's not into men. I want chips and salsa. Did somebody say salsa? From a diner? You're getting chips and salsa from a diner? Can you? Di I'm chips and salsa isn't really a diner food. Melody Diner's got some weird- got- Melody Diner has a weird menu. Hey Blondie, sup with you? Yeah, see, I don't think she's in the men. Wow, she's played Anne Frank? They call me the Love Whisperer. I didn't know the Love Whisperer came up so early. I thought that was a season two thing. That's a really hot pink violin in the background right there. Ellie ducking. Hey, if you want to be a doll and go in my description and <laughs> click that Patreon link and support me so I don't have to watch ads, <laughs> that'd be great. You took this job just to be close to Cassidy. That is so romantic. Real creepy. With ketchup on top? But gross. Whoa. That was like the best song I've ever heard about onion rings. <laughs> Bro's a simp. Is this the same set from the dry cleaners and just like redecorated? decorated? You're the one who can't communicate your feelings. And I guess that's kind of true. Like, we've established that he is not good with communicating his feelings, and that kind of takes him into season two and that explains his behaviors in season two. Let's talk about that more when we get to season two. I'm so excited. I'm all out of chicken pot pies. I need some more now. There's gotta be like cocaine in those chicken pot pies, cause how is he just addicted to chicken pot pies? Like, she had to lace them. Ew, did I just call him Desi <laughs> Ew. God, the patrons of this diner's gotta be like super confused. This this would be such a weird place to eat. You were talking to me? Yeah. Is that a People I magazine? I was taking a survey about Wait, is it a fake vaccine? Because this kind of looks like Because it kind of looks like the Kardashians But I don't think it was Actually them Am I going to be able to see it? So yeah, it's not a Kardashian But it kind of looks like um, The Austin Alley equivalent of the Kardashians I a survey about how to be a better listener On a scale of 1 to 10 How'd I do? <laughs> oh god Not at all well Makes my heart beat like a mile a minute. I can't explain it. But you just did. That's the first. That was such a delayed reaction. <laughs> Do you think that was scripted or like it just happened and they just kept it in? I wonder how much like, they, like Laura and Ross just improvised and they just like kept it in because it was funny. I also wonder how much like we missed. Because I, I think about this a lot, like, I wonder how much they, like, improvised when they were, like, romantic partners. You know? Chicken parmesan on a bed of linguine. Again, I said this before, but this diner makes insane dishes. Like, the variety is insane. People using the <laughs> napkin dispensers in the... I get back we'll have that date do you think like in series she like blew up i'm pumped too i'm gonna chill at the library all day and teach myself calculus all night Woohoo! teaching herself calculus when she's like at a freshman level is kind of insane good for her i still suck calculus that was so cool until your friends broke my arms and legs 
Yeah, how long has it been? He should still like be in cast. I feel like when if he broke his arms and his legs, how much time has passed? Has it been? I've always gone on the assumption that they met during summer because I think about you says last summer we met, we started as friends. So I think they met like the first episode is like the end of summer. And now we're getting into like the last episodes. It's summertime. I don't know. I do want to like think about that and like where it's t- like space. So like they're all. Yeah, I don't know. So like going into freshman year, I think. I don't know. I really do want to. If any of you like in the comments like have like leave your suggestions of when you think the timeline is because i would love to know and talk about it so shiny what brings you here so shiny <laughs> oh i should pop out a bumping new jam okay Allie. awesome i've always wanted to go to the everglades you're telling me they live in miami they lived in miami their entire lives and they've never and he's never been to the everglades <laughs> that seems Impossible. No? Yes? Let me know. Group of friends went on vacation. <laughs> the way that's just in a studio, because that is so fake. <laughs> like, it's so flat, and you can tell it's so flat. I know the Everglades was all swamp. I haven't seen a single shop. How do you know the Everglades is all swamp? Jones <laughs> was this here tooth. Okay, the way that. Austin's whistle necklace is swing, just swinging is so distracting. <laughs> the way Des grabs on to Austin. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm just returning Shine and Money's two red flashlights. Why does he have two red flashlights? I barely got any sleep either. I was up most of the night watching out for Big Mama. Also, if you're like huge fans of Ostley, Austin and Allie, and I'm sure you've read The Missing Moments of Austin Alley, seasons one through four, <laughs> by, um, I don't remember, I'll put a name up on the screen. Oh, and I'll link the fanfiction links down below, too. Um, but, yes, yeah, very cute fanfic. Um, for adults only. Also, if you're a child watching this, please don't. This is, even though I'm covering children's content, it's for adults. So, anyway, um... She has a scene in there where they're like both up and Austin's like, you can go sleep, I'll watch for Big Mama for a little bit and it's so cute. Again, I'll link it below. Again, not for children. If you're over like 16, you're good. Oh, hey look, my dad left a note. So where is he staying? And where has he been? I get like he was like, he's been fishing. Shouldn't have he been there? I don't know. Or that he's even there to begin with is kind of insane because None of the parents went on tour with them. They went by themselves. They went to New York by themselves. So, yeah, I don't... Where is he? Has ever captured her on film? How? Why are we just leaving the door open? It's because they have no air conditioning, so they're, like, getting airflow. Throw the chicken out the window. Aww. Cute. No, not over there. Maybe she's under the boat? No. Oh god. It's a wonder that Chinese money didn't sue them. This might be my worst rated song. I still need to do that rating. Um I'll do it eventually. I streamed it once, forgot to save it, and didn't post it. So yeah, um, I'll do that, but I do think this is my worst rated song because I don't ever remember like, like I never have it on. I have other songs on. My like my go to songs are like Better Together, Double Take, Illusion, Heartbeat. I did. Me too. Duh. His voice crack. I just used all the footage and turned it into a horror movie. Check it out. Okay, well, that's not a documentary, so, like, to turn it in for this documentary thing, it's not gonna work. Okay, a little miss is shaking the chair behind me. Can you see her? I don't think you can. 
Well, that was episode... God, I can never remember the episode uh, 16. I'm pretty sure. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch more, here's the Austin Alley playlist. More of me, here's the vlog. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.